Deployed from this NASCO shipyard to medical device maker Abumet in Boston and the Space and Naval Warfare Systems Center in San Diego, nearly 20 students from UCSD's Jacobs School of Engineering spent most of summer 2004 doing a different kind of internship. They were part of one of the first team internship programs in the nation. Teamwork is always the best way because when I study too, I always have my friends around and if I'm stuck on certain problems, I would ask them. It takes me hours and hours just to figure one problem out, but you know, if you have someone there, they can easily help you out. We were always taught to work in teams as engineers, but uh, mostly they're on homeworks and uh, for maybe for projects and stuff. But uh, this is the very first time where we actually give us a real life task and we have to work in teams. They enjoyed the experience. They were able to really have a lot of responsibility and they believe contribute significantly to a project that had meaning for the company. Otherwise, they wouldn't have assigned three to four people to it. The internship program originated with a request from Abiomed CEO. He sits on the school's council of advisors and asks the school for a multidisciplinary team. This was a concept and a test trial uh, and largely based on the fact that we all need teams. With the success of that first team in 2003, the school approached other members of its corporate affiliates program. In 2004, six teams of two, three, or four students each were dispatched to companies including Callaway Golf and Lockheed Martin's Orincon division. The characteristics of the successful team internships are that they're interdisciplinary, they include engineering rigor, but they also require collaboration and initiative. What we were working on was basically a new control system for a robotic platform. Lam Nguyen and three other students were selected to do work at Spay War Systems. They came from bioengineering as well as computer, electrical and mechanical engineering. Instead of using the traditional microprocessor control method for controlling robot, uh, we were building a control system from a network of nonlinear oscillators. Candidates for the team internships were first screened by the school and its CAP program based on the skills that each company was looking for. Companies also had to spell out defined goals in advance and assign a staffer to mentor oh, yeah. the team. Yeah, I mean, I was anxious not just about having space to put them, but also keeping them occupied for 10 weeks. It came and went so fast, it was amazing. As soon as they had the job in hand, we met a few times. I anticipated meeting every week, but I don't even think we needed to do that. Once the job was uh, outlined, they really worked very well together in getting the job done, and it was a hard, hard project. We look at we look at the torch to see if it's like broken or anything. Linda like House that. spent the summer at NASCO, San Diego's largest shipbuilder. Her team worked on maintenance upkeep software for the wide variety of equipment used in the shipyard. We worked really well as a team. So I think that's the most re rewarding experience. They make us feel like we're included, that we're not just interns and that we're actually people that they care about and they want to listen to. Okay, several students commented that they were well prepared to deal with the challenges of the project that the uh, company offered. But more interestingly, uh, they observed that a lot of the work they did at the company would be very helpful back in their classes. In August and September, Dean Frieder Seibley visited each of the teams on site to hear firsthand how the summer went for the students, their mentors, and company leaders. While the companies and tasks differed, there were also striking similarities. First and foremost, that the program manager and the company were truly impressed at the caliber of our students. A second observation was stepped in and very quickly assimilated the challenge of the project and quickly moved to solve. Now the students, companies, and the school are all looking ahead to next year. When we're speaking to companies not yet part of our corporate affiliates program, the team internship becomes a very critical factor in their interest in joining officially the corporate affiliates program. With support from both new and current CAP members, the Jacobs School hopes to double the number of team internship projects for summer 2005.